And I joined the Liberals absolutely aware that I was joining a, a party that had an uphill struggle. And I did not join as a career member. If I did, I, you know, I was very poorly at that. But I didn't join as a cop out either. I didn't join that party, um, our party, because I felt it was a nice cop out. It was like joining a pressure group, it was a way of avoiding power. I thought, there were alternatives. Um, you know, we didn't have the SNP in, 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 in Lancashire, uh, or neither do we in Cumbria, but we have the other two parties. I thought, well, effectively, these are the bought and paid for representatives of vested interests, either big business or the trade unions. And I look up here, and as a, a Cumbrian MP, we get a bit of your television, so I get a sense of Scottish politics and extent. And you know, one has to be very careful what one says about, you know, Comrade Alex, but, um, you know, <laughs> frankly, being the mouthpiece of Rupert Murdoch ain't any better either, is it? Uh, and so I, was a, I got a sense that the Liberals being a party that was utterly independent and resolute. And at a time like this, it's important to emphasise it, because I, you know, you hear the kind of charge, you guys have got in bed with the Tories, you now have a bunch of Tories in coalition with them. I think, well, you know, I share a bed with my wife, it doesn't make me a woman. <laughs> and I, I, my, my, my politics have not changed one inch since we ended up in coalition. And, and it, I mean, I find it, I, I can't be on the, 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 the market bent out now, and I've, I've ruined this nice white nice whiteboard behind me if I did. But I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys this, but there were only really two options with the last general election in terms of the arithmetic a Lib Dem Tory coalition or a minority Tory administration with a general election three months later. Um, a, three, a general election three months later that the Tories would have won in a landslide. Why? Because Labour would have had no leader for the whole of that three months. Or Gordon Brown, you tell me which would have been worse. Um, <laughs> and they'd have had less than no money. We'd have had less than less than no money. And the Tories had a simple narrative. They'd have said, look, this chaos, it's all Labour's fault. It's all this international financial disaster. We need strong, single party, stable government. Murdoch would have been right behind him and a 60 seat Tory majority. Anybody tells you Nick Clegg delivered a Tory government, absolutely the opposite is the case. You, were, you saw entering this time two years ago, that general election, we were looking at a 60 seat Tory majority. The only reason you do not have a Tory government now is because Nick Clegg played a blinder in the Leavers debates. It's just important to remember that, you know, and we, but you better wish, you know, you better be careful what you wish for sometimes. Um, we found ourselves in a coalition government, in a, a balanced parliament. It's unbelievably difficult for us because who wants to be in power at a time when you have to make these really critical and difficult decisions? But I'm absolutely sure we're right to do it. Um, and you know, very often politicians are castigated for taking easy decisions. I'm sure it would be a darn sight easier for William and I if Nick Clegg had bottled it and decided to go into opposition. And we now have that Tory government. It would be a lot easier for us. I bet we'd have more members of the Scottish Parliament now if we 